In this tutorial, we're going to discuss a storytelling framework. When you think about a good story, you know that there's a beginning, a middle, and an end. There's usually some sort of problem, things get worse, and then finally it ends up with a happy ending. It's pretty simple, right? The same framework can be applied to your doodly videos so that they're more effective at getting the point across. Except we're, we're going to get a little bit more specific and use the problem agitate solution framework to tell our story. First, we'll identify the problem. And then we're going to agitate the problem by showing how it's affecting people and making things worse. Finally, we'll offer a solution to the problem and we'll finish with an actionable takeaway. So let's go ahead and make a quick doodly based on that. Here's the script I came up with and you'll see right off the bat we have our problem. And then we jump right in and we start agitating. We just go over all these horrible things that are a result of that problem. And then finally, we present our solution. In the interest of time, I've already started this video and I'll go over what I've already done and then we'll finish it up together. So this task list, if you look at it, it's got a zero duration and a zero delay on all of the elements. So that means they just appear first thing. The hand does not draw them. This clock is actually a GIF that you can find GIFs online and you can import them just like you do any other photograph or image. And when you play the video, they'll do a little animation. So it's really cool. And then I just built the rest of the scene. I am doing the voiceover one scene at a time. So I've already done the first two. I also added a camera movement. So let's go over here. And I had started it, but this is a good time to just kind of pick up with you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and just adjust it. Now, I kind of like these little sunbeams because, <laughs> wow, what if this wonderful planner could solve all her problems, right? That's what we're saying here in this scene. So I'm over here in the scene text and it's going to overwrite this because I didn't think of that, that in time. So I want to go ahead and copy these items so that I can paste them in back in. So I selected them both, control click, and now I'm going to do um, control or command plus the letter C to copy. So now they're copied to my clipboard. Now I can drag in this scene. And yes, it's okay to go ahead and overwrite it. It's fine. Now. Control or Command V to paste will paste my items back in. Of course, this looks terrible right now. So first off, let's move this text and get that trash can to delete it. I don't need the text. I only want the sunbeams. Now the sunbeams need to be a little bit larger. And I like that. So I think that's going to look really cool. So let's go ahead and record it. So to do that, you go into the narration track down here and you'll see these are the ones I already did. And then I have a plus sign at the very end and that's what I'm gonna do to record my voiceover. So let's go ahead and do it. Click plus and then the red sign when you're ready. What if there, are, what if there were a way that she could be more productive feel less overwhelmed, and finally be able to get things done. So I messed up at the beginning, but I'm not worried about it. I just gave myself a pause and then started over. Now I want to get rid of this. This is my mess up right here. You can see it. This is where I, was, I, I stumbled. So all I have to do is go to the beginning, hover over the little line here till the double-sided arrow comes, and now I can just trim it away. So now it's gone. And I just move this over, right click, preview. What if there were a way that she could be more productive, feel less overwhelmed, and finally be able to get things done? I do need to have a little pause at the end. So I'll go to scene settings, and we want to add about two seconds to the end. I think we want a new scene with Amanda holding the book. So I'm going to click over here, new scene, and I'm just going to drag it over to the proper spot. I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste the book once again. I'm going to paste that into our new scene. It's going to be smaller because we're going to add Amanda. So we can make it smaller, move it over. And let's go back and find Amanda. Rhonda is our 
our script is saying, but she's named Amanda in Doodly. So now remember, we're going to have a call to action. So maybe over here is where I'm going to have the text for the call to action. Would be some nice balance. And we'll do something like that. So let's go ahead and add our voiceover. This will be our last voiceover. The Acme Productivity Planner is the perfect solution for anyone who has trouble getting things done. So I'm going to go back to this one, Scene Settings, and I'm going to turn the scene animation off here. And now, instead of swiping, it's just going to go from this to this. So I have the Acme Productivity Planner. I don't want the hand to draw it on because it's already been revealed. So we're going to go back over here. Turn that to zero and this to zero. We can consider if we want those sunbeams and I think I do kind of want them. So I'm going to go over to the sunbeams and we're just going to copy and paste. So that looks really great. And what's going to happen is it's going to look like the camera moved from this close-up to this longer shot. So it goes from here to here. And we can decide if we want the hand to draw Amanda on or not. Now before we do a preview, let's make sure to turn off the drawing of the sunbeams. So now that's zero. And let's take a preview and we want to see the transition between the two. So I'm going to go ahead and use this preview and I'm going to jump ahead and finally be able to get things done. Enter Rhonda's new productivity planner. Each day she's out, oh, let's go ahead and add a camera move. Scroll over and you go to the plus sign after your last camera move. And then you drag it over. So let's go ahead and click in. So we're full screen. That's what we're starting at. And then we're going to zoom in to just three goals per day. And then we're going to zoom back out. So we got to do our first move first. So we're going to zoom in nice and tight. And we've got to figure out where in this scene this camera move is going to happen. Okay. So I like to use this little mini preview. What happens is you place your playhead and you can see exactly what's happening where. So as soon as he goes to write the set, your three goals per day, that's when I want the camera to start moving. So now I just move this over here to where my playhead starts. And now, as soon as he starts writing, the camera's going to zoom Just in. three goals, one big goal and two small tasks that will help her reach it. So once again, camera move. And then we're going to move it over. It's probably going to be right around here. Instead of zooming out to full screen, let's just move the camera up to this happy Amanda. And that's going to look nice. And then we'll do one more camera move. And this one is going to stay starting on her and it's going to end full screen is you do that little double headed arrow trick and we're just going to extend it. So now it's just going to slowly move over to her. It's three goals, one big goal and two small tasks that will help her reach it. The Acme Productivity Planner is the perfect solution for anyone who has trouble getting things done. It's designed to help busy professionals like Rhonda get more done in less time. So you'll finally be able to achieve your dreams. Get yours now. The last step is to add some music. So go over to music and click the categories, music, and then you find a track that you like. I'm just going to pick one and we'll just do it really fast. Okay. So I'm going to pick this one, Be Home. It might not be suitable, but it should be okay. And you place it. It looks like it kind of starts right away and I think that'll be good for this particular one. And then it's going to be too long. So we're going to go to the end and trim it. Right click, choose fade out, extend the fade. We're almost done, but we need to go over here to the music audio and turn it down because I do have narration and 
these audio tracks come in really loud, so I turn it way down. With 10% 10, 10 is going to be fine for me. And that should be done. Let's go ahead and take a final look. Rhonda loves her job, but her task list is a mile high. Constant distractions pull her attention away from the things that matter the most, and her performance is suffering. She starts a lot of projects, but never finishes them. She feels like she's not good enough, and she doesn't deserve success. Her boss isn't happy, and she's exhausted from trying to juggle everything with nothing to show for it. What if there were a way that she could be more productive, feel less overwhelmed, and finally be able to get things done? Enter Rhonda's new productivity planner. Each day she starts with just three goals, one big goal and two small tasks that will help her reach it. The Acme Productivity Planner is the perfect solution for anyone who has trouble getting things done. It's designed to help busy professionals like Rhonda get more done in less time, so you'll finally be able to achieve your dreams. Get yours now. And that's a basic storytelling framework that you can use to quickly create your own doodly videos.